My hair has been straight for like nearly a month now. And honestly, it stayed like straight for a pretty good amount of time. So I just left it. But you know, we're getting to that point where it's just like, it needs to be done. So I am about to show you how I'm gonna transition my straight hair back to curly, prayerfully with no damage. I just wanna start off by saying this is the first time straightening my hair in over five years. So I was super nervous for this process and seeing if my curls were gonna come back. So you guys are literally experiencing this right along with me. So, so far I've just sectioned off my hair and combed it out with a paddle brush. And I'm just applying some coconut oil to prevent any unnecessary shedding because my hair was super dry at this point. Um, and so I'm just gonna go ahead and section off a pretty big chunk there for me because usually I do really small sections, but because my hair is straighter, it's a little bit easier to manage. So I am using Palmer's Coconut Oil Deep Conditioning Protein Pack to go in and really try to revert these curls. And so I started off by just spraying my hair with water and you can definitely see a little bit of panic setting in my face when those curls don't immediately come back, but they really started showing first at the roots and I just had to be patient. I use a lot of water and honestly, I spent like six minutes on this section alone. So I would just recommend be patient with your hair and really make sure those curls come all the way back from root to end. Spend extra time on some of those pieces that are struggling um, and I just finish it off by braiding it up so that deep conditioner can really sit in my hair and really lock in the moisture. This is just a slow down version so you guys can see what the middle of my hair looks like at this point. Um, I can tell you now that the middle of my hair is what really bounced back. The front and the back were a little bit less resistant and I think that's just because um, of the damage that has happened to it through ponytails and updos. Um, the back and the front of my hair tend to get more stressed. So if that's also true for you, which I know that's the case for a lot of naturals, give the front and back some extra TLC. And so right now, I'm wrapping my hair in a plastic bag. It's just a trick that I've used to prevent my bonnet from getting messy and really almost creating like a hooded dryer effect that really locks in the moisture for the night. So this is the next day I took out my hair. Just looking at it, this is still with the conditioner in it. It still looks like the curls are definitely a little bit looser, but they're there, they're intact. Like there's not stringy ends, which is like what I was mostly scared about. Thank you guys for watching. Hoping this was helpful for someone. Just make sure before you go to these stylists that you look up their work, that healthy hair is a priority for them. And even if you need to communicate, like, look, I'm not trying to get damaged, do all of that before you straighten your hair.